which is the best mutual fund to invest for long term say five years and more so this is a question i get from most of my community members and all the people in uh, youtube so i thought let me do this video so best mutual fund for long term and if it is more than five years please watch this video hi hello this is ganesh santhuru your stock market profit coach and author of this book one page mutual fund plan which got just got launched last week so please go and grab it the link is provided in the description so coming to today's topic, uh, before that, please click the subscribe button so that you will get interesting updates like this, which is the best mutual fund because this is based on the returns alone. I just picked up. There are so many criteria. I had said repeatedly over a period of time, but which is the best based on the returns till now because market is at its peak, right? So based on that, we will consider the top five mutual funds alone, which has given an exemplary, enormous, uh, biggest, whatever word you can put it that kind of returns it has given in the last uh, 10 years and i should define the period right so how i took it just with the money control what are the best mutual funds i know about these funds but the top, how did i choose the top uh, five funds in top five equity funds and in the last 10 years how these funds are performed based on that i'm just going to suggest okay so the first and foremost thing is you should select a equity mutual fund to see get this kind of returns if you are somebody who has never invested please start your investment with equity mutual funds and continue for 10 years and see you you can also get these kind of returns why you should go for equity because this is a fund which this is the kind of category which will give you uh, close to more than 15 percent because the benchmark is 12 and i generally say don't go, expect more than 15 percent but these kind of funds has given uh, and SEBI has recategorized so many things that happened in the last three to four years, I can say. And only with this category of funds, equity mutual fund category, and specifically the top five uh, different categories uh, I had chosen. Among that, you can choose to invest so that you can also expect something close to 18 to 20% returns. Is it not a good, great, great thing to do, right? Because 18 to 20% returns, you can't get in any other asset class and that took compounding compounding returns over a period of long period of time okay so let's go on so you selected equity mutual fund and because you wanted a best mutual fund to invest this is the first step. and among this there are confusions among many of the people like uh, should i buy the index mutual fund or should i get into normal regular mutual fund index mutual fund is nothing but you buy a index fund say nifty or sensex or pharma or uh, FMCG, all these are come in the last few few uh, month, few years, I will say. Uh, Nifty Sensex is there for more than 10 years or 10 to 15 years, I can say. But how much returns it has given? Not more than 14-15% because on an average, if you consider a long term, long term in the sense 5 plus years or close to 10 years, index has performed not more than 14 to 15 and you can go and check sensex which has performed a lot because sensex is con constituted with large cap stocks it, it doesn't have mid cap it doesn't have small cap and all these are companies which will give standard returns it, it, it don't give bigger returns right and in india specific to india index funds has given just around 14 to 15 and if you consider last two years returns index funds would have given you maybe around 30 40 percent even higher returns because market has gone down to almost uh, from 42,000 sensex had gone down to 25,000 from that it has went up so that is the reason you can see bigger returns got it so regular funds in that case if you see there are mid caps there are small caps there are flexi cap categories there are value funds so many categories other which has a mix of large small and mid cap that is the reason you can get bigger than 15 percent returns so how much uh, you can invest in index fund if you're a long-term investor maybe around 10 to 20 percent not more than that if at all if you need in the aspect of diversification if you personally ask me in my view it is not needed if you are uh, very much aware of how these particular mutual funds will give you better returns okay got it so the best thing is let's go for the top five mutual funds which has given great returns in the last few years the first and foremost is sectoral funds among that the, the my personal choices icc prudential technology fund in the last 10 years it has given close to 26 percent returns technology fund specifically focuses only on it sector it and related mobile and so many new companies nazara technologies and all these companies that came in zomato which is a new technology company it's not a food company food app it's a technology app so if you look at that has given enormous return so that is one thing which you can look at and uh, this fund has given 26 percent as i said last 10 years and uh, elss that is another specific category you should look at and among that in the last 10 years 
this access long term equity fund has been has won the category hands down it has given around 19% 19% is huge and you can allocate this for long term retirement planning which can give you a bigger returns so this is one thing you can focus and nippon india small cap small cap is something like uh, it's small but the returns are huge and that is the reason you should you should have in this category if you have a timeline of more than 5 plus years say retirement kids education or anything beyond 5 years go for this and this fund has given 23% returns 23% in 10 years just think of which asset class can give it to you guys and the fourth one is lnt india value fund right and this is one thing it's just almost like 19.5% value fund is nothing but it will invest only when the value is good when the valuation aspect uh, say price earning ratio or price to book value based on that they will choose the stocks they will stick to it just because value is good and they will see whether the returns are growing that is a specific category if your risk covers go for value fund which will give you good and this fund has given 19.5% in the last 10 years and finally the last fifth one is the flexi cap category and i'll check. i think it's in the flexi cap, cap quant active fund the size is very small the quant active fund the category the asset under management of this fund is almost just under 950 crores and uh, that is but they are in existence for more than 10 years and they are given almost 19.5 percent and one advantage with small uh, with very lesser uh, uh, asset size is that they can churn the stocks meaning if they feel that the stock has given higher returns they will uh, exit that stock and they'll re-enter when the stock has come uh, re-enter the stock which is with with lower valuation so that that is advantages with this this fund type and this is for people who want higher returns all these five five categories are for people who want higher returns but not in the short term only in the long term five to ten years minimum you should stay and these ones had gone through years of uh, existence so all these funds if you look at they are in the market for more than 10 years which has proven the authority that this fund has given done good and it will do good for you also and uh, finally uh, one last thing i just wanted to end because it's a disclaimer because this is not fund recommendation it's an educational purpose telling you like this is how the fund mutual funds has given enormous returns reach out to a registered investment advisor or reach out to a mutual fund distributor to get the incidental advice and you can even get in touch with me to know more about how to invest in these kind of funds and if you have any kind of doubts you can always reach out to me Thank you so much for watching. Please share this video with your friends who have doubts about mutual funds, who wants to invest in mutual funds and uh, who has some who's, who needs some clarity. Please forward it to them. Thank you so much for watching. Meet you in another video. Thank you.